guys, Jared from Wave to Wave here, and this is uh, episode 11. It's actually a bunch of different footage from weeks and weeks ago, uh, so I'll make it all uh, compiled into one episode for an update. So it's the repair of the hull and um, a couple different things, and we, we coated it with an epoxy primer from All Grip 545 All Grip. And uh, so I'll go inside and we'll just take a look at some of the things we've done, and then we'll talk about maybe uh, what's next as far as the deck goes and how we're going to put it all together. And then some of the finishing stuff I got, some of the parts we have in stock, and, and some of the things we're going to use and try and, and push the project forward. So it's been delayed obviously quite a bit, but that's okay. It's actually freezing cold out here and not going boating anyway. So we'll, uh, we'll get this done and hopefully uh, get everything put together in the next couple of months here. And then look at probably uh, testing it, but that'll be part of the fun. It'll be an episode at each couple of weeks now and we'll get into the more exciting part later on. So hopefully the the weather will be better then too and, and to get things going. So yeah, we're looking inside the shop now and here is the repairs on the hull. And for the green stuff you're seeing, that's the USC product it's called Duraglass and it's a short fiberglass strand filler for kind of small and medium repairs. And this hull had quite a few. It's sandable, it's really, really hard when it dries and uh, it's pretty handy to use. So once that was applied and everything else was kind of finished off, we prepped the uh, hull for the All Grip 545 epoxy primer. So you'll see, yeah, there's tons of dust on it. The hull did sit after uh, we sprayed it. So it's this is the All Grip 545 epoxy primer. And yeah, we're kind of getting ready for, I haven't totally decided on the paint color we're gonna go with. Um, might just go with a white hull and then start the color. Um, above the bottom but uh, we're not sure yet I would like to go all one color but we'll see how that goes and yeah it's basically it's looking really good like it's it's very straight uh, it's been blueprinted and much better than even brand new so we're really optimistic about that so yeah you can see here this hull has a seven inch notch built in and our revenue g2 has another probably six they say about four to six inches depending on comparison of extra setback so kind of determining what kind of setback we're going to use as far as a jack plate so we have a four inch one that we have already but we might actually switch that to a little bit more just to sort of get the proper uh, setback with the weight and the hull design and everything. Another really cool thing about the G2 is the digital controls and we got a foot throttle that we can switch back and forth from the hand throttle to the foot throttle with just a flick of a switch that's very cool uh, plus the steering is so simple like all you really need is a helm and it just has, it just goes right into the built-in steering system on the G2 which makes the, the rigging super clean. So yeah, basically that's episode 11. Uh, episode 12 will be much sooner than this one came so we'll uh, look for that and uh, subscribe below and share with a friend if you can and uh, we love doing these projects. We've got tons of projects right now on the go as many of you know. So uh, yeah, let's keep this going and again, subscribe and, and follow wave2wave.com for more updates and uh, we'll see you guys soon.